More rain, thank heaven. Cooling off for day 37. Who's ready to go see what kind of mischief we can get into today? Welcome back, everybody. It is day 37. It is Big Mike. It is the Hoopty Barn, and it is the Blue Goose. And, yeah, we're getting a little bit more much-needed rain. We've been getting a little rain for the last couple days, and uh, finally cooling off. And, man, I tell you, that was, a, that was a tough stretch, all that hot weather. Thundering out there, boy, it helped, that makes me feel good. So, anyway, let's get back on this thing. Uh, the last time I was in here working, because I, I had to get away from that steering for a minute, and I was working on my floor pans and all that, and I got more sheet metal work to do. I got, of course, we got everything to do still, but I think I'm going to jump back on this steering again a buddy of mine <clears throat> he sent me this picture and uh, he was showing me something that he had seen other people do on rat rods and stuff like that and I thought you know I've been thinking about it and I think that's a pretty cool idea so I'm thinking I might just see what I can figure out something like this well this is a timing chain set and I'm just thinking perhaps maybe I might be able to hook something like that up with small gear here find a way to put that big gear out here away from everything and if I can get it up here high enough I can put that make that pitman arm longer again like it was supposed to be in the first place and well I don't know maybe it'll work maybe it won't I don't know we'll just have to kind of try to line things up and see what we can do with it and uh, yeah what's the worst could happen so well I'm going to get started and we'll see where we end up. Alright, so before I go to those extreme measures with the gears and chains and all that, because, well, I mean, one, I don't need to necessarily trash a uh, double roller timing set. Two, I still haven't tried this, <clears throat> just <clears throat> lengthening this pitman arm back out to where I can get it to its farthest point down here of clearance so that's going to be my first order of business is I'm going to try to lengthen this and I'm going to get out my big torch and I'm going to heat this up I'm going to bend it and bend it out here a little bit give it a little bit more travel this way too to see if you know I mean it'll make it a little easier to steer but <clears throat> One thing I do think I have going in my favor once I do get this figured out is where the front axle is versus where my center of gravity is. My front axle is way up here. My center of gravity is way back here. So, you know, I'm thinking that'll be beneficial. I mean, I don't know how beneficial, but, you know. We're going to, we're going to check it out. So I'm going to chop all this up and weld it all back and do all that stuff. And I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, then. Whew. Progress. So uh, I got that all put back together. Kind of bent this around and up and got that one out and added to my drag link back there 
and it's a close little dude like I said I'm gonna have to put something in here like some kind of a snubber so it won't bottom out so it can't bottom out you know and bust my linkage but I got that part done and I went ahead and took that little um, sliding piece uh, where'd it go right here I took all this out of there because this little part here where it's flat and round it kept ba -bump, ba -bump, ba -bump on my header so I took that out and I welded in a solid rod that sucker is solid and now it just turns with no issue and we got we got steering and that dude goes way over there it steers full range so yay one more thing pretty much out of the way I mean I might have to make a couple little little adjustments but woohoo now we got that part so next is going to be tomorrow because I've already been out here for about let's see I got out here about 5.30 or so and it's almost noon now so yeah almost well, right around 6 hours so I'm going to call that a day and uh, appreciate y'all following along with me again on my silliness and uh, do me a favor if you ain't subscribed go ahead and do that and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down or you know say you're an idiot you're gonna get yourself killed well that might be true too because you know i uh was drinking coffee yesterday and come across a comment from a eh, what was his name i don't know anyway we had uh somebody who was talking about the no name nationals crew how we're all just basically a bunch of nobodies and that's why it's named the no name nationals and we're pretty much a bunch of idiots and we ain't popular youtube folks and yeah it's all right you know not everybody can get the love that you know some of them guys do it's all good you know uh you want to see what comment i'm talking about if you go to last year to the night wrencher he made a comment on why the national no name nationals are more important than you know and i made a comment on there and then he made a comment on my comment and yeah there's a little back and forth but you know bless his heart that's all i'll say so <laughs> till next time y'all keep watching i'm gonna keep working